going to trim Bucky's horns. He has scores that are growing back from being disbudded as a kid, so we'll show you guys how we do that. get started on his horns you can see here he had he was disbudded as a kid and it didn't take so they're growing back um, these are not going into his head um, at all I can get my finger under there but we want to stay ahead of it and make sure that they don't so you can see on this side too these are pretty bad and like I said I can get my whole finger under here but we want to make sure that they stay short enough that that is not an issue especially um, as him and his the other buck we have in here Sammy um, start headbutting and playing and things like that. We want to make sure that these aren't going to cause him pain or get broken off, which is a much worse situation than trimming them where we can do it safely. Um, I'm going to cover his eyes so he doesn't get dust or debris in there. And let me show you what we have over here we're working with. A metal file. We have a Dremel and several bits. We're not sure how he'll handle the vibration, so we're not sure if we're going to end up using that. And blood stop powder. We hope we don't need it, but we have it if we do. This is the wire saw we use. It's just, how much was that, like 10 bucks under? Like seven bucks. Put that under his hoof to where it is that we wanna cut, and it should be a really quick process. So blood vessels in there, and you, it's really important to try not to nick them. So what we're gonna do is only take a little bit today and then file the rest and have it be more of a maintenance. You don't wanna do a big chop on these. can see oh honey I know he doesn't like this you can have it while the dust isn't going we just put this here so he doesn't get dust and debris in his eye he's prone to eye infections um you can see that you get a cookie you're just mad you don't want to, you do want your cookie okay. you can see here it's not bleeding or anything and we're gonna try to round this area out for him so that it's there's nothing sharp when you're doing the saw you want to make sure you're pulling at an upward sideways angle Otherwise, you will cut their skin under here. Not as straight. We'll file it. All right. All right. Let me take a break. I know that's not fun, is it? That's not. Okay. So, check. See again. No blood. He didn't like it, but he's not too traumatized. He wasn't screaming. We're going to use the um, file here. We're going to try to get these rounded out for him.
file's not cutting it today, so we're gonna go ahead and knit that. Work on seeing if we do are able to use that Dremel to try to shape these down a little bit. Never used this on him before, so we'll see how he handles it. Probably not too well. He's already sick of us. Not a fan of the Dremel. So you can see we didn't really get them. Um, the Dremel's not at all to take down any length. It's just to round it out so he doesn't have any sharp edges. So this is where we're gonna leave him today. Didn't need any stop powder. Didn't need any blue coat. Cookies. And he's gonna get some cookies. You want to get cookies? Or... All done, Bobby. Forget you, people. Bucky seemed to do just fine with his horns this time. He didn't seem to mind all that much. Huh, he's still mad at me. But that's what we do. Um, if you got any information out of this, or if you have any questions, go ahead and ask down below.